A slightly later start tonight by about 30 minutes, eight and a half hours to go until the Dallas Mavericks host one of the teams challenging them for a playoff spot, the Golden State Warriors. It is a game you can see live tonight right here on WFAA and joining me to talk all about it is Nick Angstead, host of the Locked on Mavericks podcast. Good morning to you, Nick. Good morning. Let's play some basketball tonight. I know it. The Dallas Mavs, by the way, handily beat the Bulls after you talked to us earlier this week. Three straight wins. What do you like about what you're seeing from the Mavs right now? Yeah, I love the way Luka Doncic is playing. I mean, he's just been absolutely insane, electric, all the words that you want to say. He had those six straight games of 30-point triple-doubles. He's been putting up the numbers. He's been shooting the ball really well. Right now, currently, he's shooting the ball at the rim better than Shaquille O'Neal ever has. It's an insane stat. It's absolutely true. It's so wild to see what Luka is doing this season. And Golden State superstar uh, Steph Curry has been dealing with an ankle injury. What's his status for tonight? Yeah, he's out. He's not going to play. The Warriors are one and four when he doesn't play this season. Mm -hmm. Their offense really falls off a lot when he doesn't play. And this Warriors team already plays pretty small. They're going to probably start Chris Paul instead of Steph Curry. So they, go, they get even smaller, but they don't have a lot of bigs. They start Draymond Green at center and he's about, you know, six, seven on a good day. And so the Mavericks should be able to take advantage of their size with, with Daniel Gafford, who's been awesome, and Derek Lively. Okay, you mentioned Luka earlier. For Dallas, Luka just missed a triple-double the last time they played the Warriors this season. How do you expect Golden State to handle him this evening? Yeah, they're going to try their best. You know, that's kind of all you can do with Luka at this point. He <laughs> has just an answer for everything. They'll play their team defense. I know Draymond Green will be really involved. He won't guard him one-on-one, -on -one, but he'll be around and lurking, and he'll probably try and do something crazy, as Draymond always does. He puts people in headlocks. He kicks them in places that he shouldn't. He does crazy things to try and get a rise out of people, and so we'll see if he tries any of those antics tonight, but it'll have to be a team effort. They'll probably start with Andrew Wiggins on him, maybe Jonathan Kaminga, and then they'll just hope for the best. I was about to say, you know, Draymond always good for the antics. Well, the Mavs are eighth in the West right now. The Warriors 10th, and this is the first of three games left between the two. There's a lot riding on this game, right? Yeah, there's a, a ton riding on this game. The Mavs are two and a half games ahead of the Warriors, but they have, are 1-0 against them. They have three more matchups this season. And so if the Warriors win all three of those matchups, they would win the tiebreaker, and then that would be huge for the Mavericks. They don't want to fall into that 9-10 range in the play-in because if you lose one game, like one game in the play-in, then you're completely out of it like they were last season. So mm -hmm. they really want to stay ahead of the Warriors, keep ahead of this. And if they win this tonight, they'll be up 2-0, and that's a really good thing for them going into the end of the season. Okay, if you had to make a top three list, what are your keys to a Mavs win tonight? It's take care of the paint. Make sure that you can outscore them in the paint. Uh, continue to feed Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford. Uh, and then make sure Clay or somebody doesn't get hot. They have, they have guys that, you know, can really get hot from the outside. Uh, Jonathan Kaminga, really athletic player that's been their second scorer since, since they've been on this little run. So take care of him. And then take care of the basketball. Don't turn it over against the Warriors and then try to turn them over. That's something they've really struggled with over the years. Okay, Nick, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anytime. Well, tonight's game against the Warriors tips off at 730. It's one of 10 games you can see live right here on WFAA. And you can catch new episodes of Locked on Mavs podcast with Nick Daly, including a recap tomorrow of tonight's game. Download it anywhere you get your podcasts.